All right, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be repotting this Sansevieria, this mother-in-law's tongue, and uh, it's starting to get some some droopage here. As you can tell, some of the leaves are just just dropping like that, and I think it's because it needs to be potted in a bigger pot. We got some some roots popping out of the bottom. It's been in this pot for over a year now, so uh, yeah, let's get it up there. And I know sometimes, uh oh, looks like that one just snapped right out. This one feels like it's about to, to pop right out. But uh, yeah, we're gonna repot this plant today and uh, hopefully it keeps growing. All right, so we're gonna plant this Sansevieria, otherwise known as mother-in-law's tongue, and it has a bunch of other names too. And um, it's been growing in this pot for a little while. And then these leaves are just getting, I don't know what you call them, leaves or growths are getting too long and they're starting to droop. And this one, I feel like it just snapped as I was shooting the intro, so we may have to cut that one off completely and uh, propagate it, which is okay with me. I don't mind doing that and uh, get more plants out of it, which is fine. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start off with this pot here. This pot is kind of interesting because it's got a planter in it. These Sansevierias don't like to be overwatered or have the roots sitting in water because they'll get root rot and die. So you can see there's water here in the bottom of this pot. What I did is I took a planter and I cut off that lip and it just sits in here about an inch off the bottom of the pot. So when this goes in here, whatever water I put into this plant sort of drains through the plant and goes into the bottom of the pot. And then as that water evaporates, it creates humidity and that's probably good for the plant as opposed to the plant sitting in, in water and letting the roots rot. So that's like a little trick. If you want to do that, you just have to sacrifice a pot for it. Okay, so let's talk about soil here. These plants, like I said, don't like to stay wet for a long time. So if you put it in a terracotta pot, it'll naturally just evaporate the water through the pot and it dries out really fast, which is probably a good idea for these plants. I've had some issues with terracotta pots because I'm one of those people who doesn't overwater, I underwater. My plants tend to dry out, so I like the plastic pots. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this plastic pot. We're gonna upgrade to this size. I think it's a seven inch pot. And in terms of soil, I have some regular potting mix and I have ugh, a little bit of cactus mix. And then oh, I got a big bag of worm casting. So we're gonna mix all this together. Probably mostly two thirds uh, regular potting mix, one third or whatever I have left of this cactus mix to help drain the soil faster. And then the worm poop to help uh, fertilize the plant or feed the plant some nutrients. So that's what we're gonna do today. That's the soil mix. So let's get the soil mix going. So first thing I wanna do is find out how much soil we gotta put in here. So we got about that height. So a good like two, three inches of soil at the bottom of this pot is all we need. So let's, let's do that. We need to get this cactus mix in here. Not much left in there, so I can probably mix the soil in there if I have to. And we're gonna get this regular potting mix. And now for the, uh, the good stuff, oh, the worm poop, <laughs> the plant food. I actually, I went to the, the hardware store to pick up, or the, I guess the plant all-in-one kind of store to pick up some uh, worm castings, and this is the smallest bag they had, so <laughs> this is what I got. And I've been spooning it into all my plants. I got tons of plants around here. I got like maybe 60 plants in my apartment now because of this, uh, this lockdown. And if you're like me, if you've, your plant collection has exploded with plants since the lockdown started, let me know what you got. What's, uh, what's your plant? What's your favorite plant that you got during the lockdown? So uh, yeah. All right, we're just gonna mix this all together. We have a nice mix in there. And now, the fun part, let's get this Sansevieria out of this planter and put it into this bigger planter. So we're gonna grab all these leaves, give this a nice squeeze, try and loosen it up. There we go. 
We've got some nice roots. Doesn't look like it's overly root bound, but there are enough roots there. Okay, perfect, look at that. Once it settles, it'll be about half an inch below the top. I was concerned about this one piece falling over. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. I don't know if you can see that there in the video, but uh, it's like it's completely flopped over. I think it's done. It's, uh, it's time to do some propagating. So here we go. And I'm just going to cut that. There we go. So I wonder if I could propagate this as one full leaf or if I have to chop it up into little sections. It's a beautiful plant. It smells a little bit like a like a garden weed when you smell uh, the juice that comes out of it. <laughs> it smells like those, those stinky plants when you cut them. Okay, so now let's just top this up with a little more soil. Try not to make too much of a mess here. And then we're going to put a little bit of warm castings on the top so every time you water it they get wet and a little bit of the nutrients flows down towards the roots. At least that's the theory. Now I'm just pushing down the soil a little bit, not too much, I don't want to crush the roots or anything, but uh, just push it down, it'll naturally settle a little bit too. And uh, let's see what it looks like in its new planter, well, same planter, same outer planter. Ah, that looks pretty nice. Now hopefully this, this piece starts to grow, and what I've done is I just sort of wrap it around the other leaf like this and it stands, and it looks vertical which is what I'm looking for, but yeah, that looks good. Now let's give it a water. Put it back in here. And when I first water a plant that I've repotted, I usually just give it a, a soak till the, uh, the water comes running out the bottom. Now ideally what, what I should be doing is I should take this to the sink and just let the water flow through it till it's thoroughly soaked, but for YouTube, <laughs> we're just gonna water it like this. And then if I feel it's still dry, I'll take it to the sink and uh, give it some more water. As you can see, the water's not even dripping through the bottom yet. Because all the, uh, the soil's absorbing all the moisture. Now what I'm going to do is I'll make a video talking about uh, how to propagate these leaves, but I just want to do a little research first. I know how to propagate them by leaf cutting when you cut them. You know what, let's, let's move this plant out of the way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a video about how to propagate this, this leaf, but I'll, that'll be in another video. I know how to propagate them by cutting them into little three inch sections and then putting them in water and waiting for them to root and that works. But what I want to see is if I can propagate this as one full leaf. So I'm going to do some research first and uh, see what what options there are and uh, if, if there are any options we'll give it a try and we'll make a little video because it'd be cool to have like a full-size plant like this right as opposed to a bunch of little plants so yeah I'll be back with that video okay so here's a little close-up this is where the uh, I had to cut the plant and I got kind of lucky that it it kind of snapped right in that little spot because you can't really see the cutting because all these other growths are surrounding it so that's pretty cool all right so uh this is the sansevieria it's a beautiful plant really this is one of my favorite plants it's a nice bright happy green i guess you could call it a very happy green it looks uh, really cool and the patterns on the leaves are nice and the leaves are pretty dense too as you can hear there and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful plant. One of my favorite plants. I have about five or six of these in the studio. And you can see here when I bought it at the uh, nursery, it had this, this cut in the leaf, I assume because they were trying to propagate it. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna let it sit here in water and soak up the water, not the plant, but the soil. I want the soil to soak up the water. This plant likes to dry out between waterings. In fact, you can go a whole month without watering it. It should be fine. It likes to be in those dry conditions. So if you leave your plant in water like this, it will get root rot and it will die. So I'm not gonna leave it here long. This is just to uh, make sure that the soil is nice and moist. And then I'll get rid of that water and I'll put the plant in there. But yeah, it's a great starter plant if you're just looking to get into plants. They're pretty hardy, they're hard to kill. They can go, you know, they're a little drought resistant. So if you don't water it for a little while, they should be okay. Just don't let it sit in water. And these pothos plants are another great starter plant and they just, they grow like crazy, <laughs> as you can see. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about pothos another time. But yeah, this is Sansevieria, that's, this is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you, uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, I will see you guys in another video.